Hello guys and welcome back to my channel! So, basically in today's video, ooh, look what I've got my hands on, the new Kim Chin Madame Maxine Suit Yourself palette. It's what we're going to be playing with the whole week, ladies and gentlemen. I'll talk about that more when we get into the video. But first, hi, hello, yes, I am in my new place now and it's so refreshing and nice. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Lily Lewis and I've just moved place. <laughs> um, a fun fact about me today is I'm so happy with who won All Stars 5. I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen it yet. And I've been loving Drag Race um, Canada as well. I think that's so good at the moment. Um, so I'm still glad that we have that to watch. But yeah, I've just been loving all the Drag Race content at the moment. And the work, the World Series, I love it all. Oh my god, I just love Drag Race. <laughs> But yeah, let's get started with today's video. So yes, you might have noticed that I don't have my normal like setup as my background. I just want to keep a plain wall for now. See how I like it. I'm not. Re I can't really tell when I'm filming. I can only tell when I'm editing. So it all comes together in the end. But yeah, I am just know that I'm playing around with lighting and all of that at the moment, so this is not probably going to be the final product, but it might be, I don't know, we'll see. But first up today we have the Kim Chi Cosmetics Beauty Blender, Beauty Sponge, I'm pretty sure they call it a Beauty Sponge because Beauty Blender is trademarked. Um, and oh my god, come in this cute little egg packaging, I think it was so cute, it was really fun to photograph, but yeah, it's time to finally crack her out and put on my foundation for today. So this is what she looks like up close, and she has a little kimchi imprinted on her. So cute. Okay, let's play with it. Let's put my foundation on and let's have a chat. Okay, so I have wet my beauty sponge, and yeah, I really wanted to test this sponge out for you guys today. Um, I just added it to my basket with the palette. Um, <laughs> let's just talk. Let's just have a little bit of a chit chat. Okay. Let's get started with this. So my 420 order finally arrived three months later um so yeah actually last week I was like um I think this lost like I don't think it's coming to my address <laughs> um and yeah it was still like as my old address because obviously when I bought it I was living at my old place this is really soft by the way oh my god this feels incredible on the skin <laughs> um so yeah, I emailed them, I was like, look, it's been three months, hello. Um, I actually had a little bit of a back and forth with them as well for um, a couple of weeks, which I don't like to do with brands, but it has been three months. Like, that's a long time to wait for some items to return, uh, to, like, turn up to your door. So yeah, I had a bit of a back and forth. Um, not like a big back and forth, but like... A couple of emails back and forth like where are my items can I get tracking at all because um, when I checked the tracking it was just it just said that it's still in US really um, but yeah as we we're moving in we moved in this week so I went yesterday and checked all my posts and lo and behold <laughs> one of the things that I picked up was my 420 order. So I have the mirror and I have the mint hoodie. So happy to just finally have it. But I am still waiting on my makeup organizer, the white one with that holds 80 lipsticks, but that's fine. Um, this sponge is incredible. Hello, this is like so soft and so nice and it's hardly picking up a lot of product, which I love in a sponge. Um, and it's just going on the face like so nicely. Oh yeah, last time I forgot to do my nose and I almost forgot to do it then. So I'm going to do my nose and my chin. I always forget them for some reason. Um, but yeah, I actually was refunded my whole 420 order. So, free mirror and a free hoodie. And a free makeup organiser, if it turns up. Um, but yeah, I basically went straight back onto the <laughs> Jeffree Star site as soon as I got refunded and I was like, oh, okay, well I'm gonna pick up another hoodie and a few like shades that I don't have then. <laughs> and that's already been shipped out. Like, 
I got my cremated order so quick. I think I got it within two weeks, which is really good from, especially from the US. But I honestly had like no idea that it would turn up. I didn't think it would turn up at all. Like, but it's so nice. Like these new soft touch mirrors. Oh, I just want to like pat it. <laughs> But yeah, that is my foundation on. Um, oh, guys, I found my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Thank. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to prime my eyes, do my eyebrows, and then let's get stuck into the eyeshadow portion of this video. Okay, so that is all done now. Let's jump into the palette. So, this is the Madame Maxine Soup Yourself palette from Kim Chi, and she collaborated with Nomi Smalls, two of my absolute favorite drag queens. Oh my god, I love Naomi Smalls and Kim Chi. I just have such, like, respect for Kim Chi because when I wanted to get onto her brand, I reached out and I was like, oh my god, I love you so much, basically, and I would absolutely love to be, like, a representative for your brand. And she replied really quickly back and was like, look, I have a spare PR package, welcome to the team. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and yeah, I love Naomi Smalls. And I do know that she eliminated Manila and life's not fair, but I love them both. And I, oh, as soon as I saw this palette, I was like, yes, please. Um, it is now sold out, but if it is restocked anytime soon, I will leave a link down below to her website. I got it directly from her website, but I do know that Glam Radar, Beauty Bay and Merch Mother do stock her products. I don't think this is on there yet, and I don't know if they're gonna be getting it, but if they do, highly recommend following them and checking their socials. But yeah, let's have a look at inside. Boom, this is what you find inside. So when you actually tip the palette this way, this half is Naomi's side, and then this half is Kim Chi's side. So today I'm going to be playing with Miss Naomi Smalls' side, which is all like browns and oranges and greens. Oh, these greens stand out to me so much. And then, yeah, in Wednesday's video, I'm going to be playing with Kim Chi's side. And then in Friday's video, I'm going to be playing with both sides. How fun! Um, but yeah, I... I love the colour layout. Um, it is a bit like all over the place, but that doesn't really bother me these days. I know that like I can put a, together a look if I just like break down the palette, how I do with all palettes that are like that, like jawbreaker is all broken up and like, I don't mind, but I know that it bothers some people, but I really don't mind. But yeah, today I'm going to be getting stuck into Naomi's side, so let's do it. So first off, I'm going to jump in to Spiked, which is the lightest green in the palette. I think it's the lightest. Actually, no, the lightest is on Kim Chi's side, but that's okay. And you guys, I picked up a few more JS Tills and JS 13s because that brand decided to stop working with Jeffree Star. So I got all the brushes because these are literally my favorite, like so good. Anyway, I'm going to take Spiked and I'm going to, I really want to do like a big blown out moment today. So I'm just going to take this in a rounded shape as my like transition color for the day. Oh, it's really like a pukey green, which I actually really like. Like I love like a pukey, like snotty green or like a mossy gross green. I just think they're so pretty, <laughs> especially with brown eyes. They go really well with brown eyes. So that's probably why I like it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, actually I'm gonna grab it and just tap it all around my eye where I want like my eye to end. My eye socket, that's the one. Someone told me, it's called your eye socket, Lewis. But I always forget. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to pack that all around. Um, and then yeah, I'm going to use this same brush to blend it out as well. Now this is the JS12. So the JS12 is a big one and the JS13 is like the smaller one that I use to really pack on pigment but I just want to use this as my transition today and it's working amazingly. Like, okay, beautiful, moving on to the next shade. Next up, I'm going to take this lime green, which is called Morjan. Um, I did look at it on Google Translate and it pronounced it like that. If that's the wrong pronunciation, I'm so sorry, but it, yeah, it is an Arabic word, so I'm not exactly sure what it means, but yeah, Morjan is the next shade I'm going to take. Like, I'm not joking, this is how Google says it. Like, what, uh, what? and then, Margin. Margin. I don't know. But that's what I'm going in with next. 
And I'm going to go in with the same brush, the JS12, and I'm going to just basically just pat this on, but I'm not gonna like aim to blend it out. I'm gonna grab um, the first shade that I was using and blend it out with that. So I'm just gonna pack it on and then blend it out with Spiked, that's that shade. So just, yeah, gonna pack it on all around my socket. And yeah, then I'm gonna blend it out with Spiked. Oh, this is a beautiful shade, I love green. I just love green shadows. I really hope Jeffrey does a green palette. And just go around the edges. Now, while I'm doing this, I really wanna speak about this because it's so doing my head in and it's probably doing a lot of people's head in that support Jeffree Star. Just the comments that we have all been getting, like stop supporting a racist and like, just like going out of their way to like comment bad shit on all our posts. It's just like so annoying, but I do understand why they're doing it, but I don't understand why as well, because if I don't like someone, I'm going to use this as an example, Kat Von D. I boycotted the brand as soon as she came out as anti-vax. I didn't use any of her products. I never went to like someone that used Kat Von D and was like, why are you supporting an anti-vaxxer and like bringing them down just because of what they're supporting. Like um, her makeup is bomb and it always has been bomb. Um, well, most of it, I will say most of it. And I'm gonna continue to use Jeffrey because his makeup is bomb and it's one of the highest like brands at the moment and like a lot of people still support it. He's not just gonna get canceled all of a sudden. And racism? Like really? Like he literally said in his video since the beginning of his brand he has been using all colours and all races in his campaigns which I don't understand like how you can call him a racist. Yes his past was awfully racist but he's apologised for that and we've all seen him grow from that and yes he slips up sometimes. We're all human like we all slip up and I'm just like oh, I just will look I delete the comments now I'm just like I can't even you're not even worth a breath of my air. So yeah, I just wanted to speak up about that. Girl, bye. But yeah, this shade went on amazingly. It's such a beautiful green. I'm gonna move on to the next shade now. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is Yucca, which is this like dark, like neon -y green. I'm really excited to use this. And I'm taking this on a JS13 and I'm gonna really pack this on in my crease, like my actual crease right here oh my god that is a beautiful shade oh my god and i'm just gonna really pack it on in my actual crease oh that green is so pretty oh oh it's so like unique i've never worked with a green like this hello it's almost like a bluey neon dark green oh Yes. Oh, and the kimchi formula is so good. Um, it's very like buttery. It has a lot of kick up, which doesn't really bother me um, cause it works really well on the eyes. But like, oh, so buttery, like so smooth. And yeah, just really easy to work with, really pigmented and easy to blend and just work with, to be honest. Like I found that with their first palette she released, the Rainbow Sharks palette. And I'm finding the exact same with this palette. And oh, I'm in love. But yeah, wow, that packed on so easily and it looks so beautiful next to this other green. Ugh, I'm in love. Okay, moving on. Okay, next up I'm going to take Mad Maxine, which is the darkest brown on Naomi's side. And I'm grabbing another JS13. I have like five of them at this point, so. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do with this brown is pack that on the very outer and very inner portion of my eyeball. Just building it up slowly, because I don't want to go like full ham and then regret it. So just gently tapping away on the edge of my eyeball and hoping it's not like too bad next to It's actually going really well with that dark green as well, which I love. So yeah, just slowly making my way to like deepen it up and just add more pigment. And then I'm going to take that also in the inner corner and was again just like slowly build it up. Oh, it's actually going really surprisingly well with this dark green as well, the yucca green. Right, and then with the product that I have left on the brush, it's not like much, I'm just going to wiggle that in my crease, like so, 
just to deepen it up a little bit and give it some more dimension. Okay, moving on. I'm going to take Gecko next. And I will take it on a brush to begin with, but I'll probably go with my finger later on. And I'm just going to pop that in the center for a spotlight eye. Oh, yes. Oh my God, that shade is Gorgina. Oh my God, that is such a beautiful green. Okay, I'm gonna go with my finger. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with my finger and just dust that over the top because yeah, look. Oh my God, so much better with a finger. Every time. Oh my God, that shade is beautiful. Okay, then I'm just gonna go back in with that brush that I used for the Madame Maxine shade and just go along the edges and blend it into it. So it's got a bit of a nicer blend than just like a finger going <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, moving on. Okay, moving on, I wanna do a wing. So I'm gonna grab my tape. I got some nice little marble tape and I'm going to stick that where I want the wing. And then I'm grabbing my Benefit Roller Lash and I'm going to use this to draw my wing. I'll just speed it up for you guys. You guys know how I draw a wing. And I didn't even need the tape there because I drew it. I put the tape in the wrong position, but that's okay. There's my wing. <laughs> Just gonna do the other eye and then we'll be right back. Okay, so wings are on. They're a bit droopy, but that's because I drew them on myself. Um, that's okay, I know how to pose for a camera, so it doesn't look droopy. <laughs> um, moving on, lower lash line. I'm going to take Spiked and just really try to get it as tight to my under eye as possible, but it's just, yeah, it's gonna be the transition shade. Then I'm just gonna grab a ColourPop E10, which is like a pencil liner brush, and I'm going to go in with Yucca and just get that as close as I can to my waterline. Yes. And then once again, just going back in with that shade that I use for my transition and just blending it out like so. Okay, in a corner. I'm going to take Highland Ave, which is the lightest shade on Naomi's side and use that to see what it's like in the inner corner. Otherwise, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter shade. So yeah, with a, another pencil brush, I'm going to pop this in the inner corner, see what it looks like. Oh yeah, no, that looks nice in the inner corner. That's fun, hello, yes. It's like a neon peach shade, which I really love. So yeah, just packing that on in the inner corner. And bam, Bob is your uncle. Okay, I'm just going to pop off camera, do my lashes, and I'll be right back to finish off the face. Okay, lashes are on. I am wearing the Rebel by EXO Beauty, but yeah, I leave everything that I wear down in the description box down below. That was hard to come out of the mouth. But yes, anyway, highlighter. I'm gonna go in with Gold Breaker from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It is my absolute favorite gold highlighter ever. Um, but yeah, I know Kimchi does have a highlighting palette, but I was never sent it in PR, and I just never got around to buying it. But I do wanna try them one day, but today is not that day. I'm just going to go in with Gold Breaker on the cheeks. Cause I think it go beautiful with this look. And by golly, it does go very well with this look. Oh, I love highlighter. Okay, highlighter is on. Last step is lips, and I'm gonna take the Kimchi High Key Gloss in Natural and pop that on the lips. Oh, yes. Okay, guys, and that's the finished look. <laughs> So that is look number one with the Madame Maxine Suit Yourself palette using Naomi's side. Like I said, in the next video, I'm going to be jumping in to Kim Chi's side. But yeah, let's talk about Naomi's side. Oh my God, these greens. These greens are so good. I wish you could get your hands on this palette, but I do know it's sold out. But once it's back in stock, 
I would literally buy this palette again just for the greens. And it is also very cheap. I think it's 30 US dollars or 20 US dollars, which is really cheap for Australians. Um, but the shipping, uh, the shipping was the downfall. The shipping was $50 Australian. <laughs> but yes, I really absolutely loved playing with this side. I had to use the greens. I mean, I know it's mostly neutral sides. I did use a neutral. I used Max Mad Maxine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really wanted to use the greens and I really like this Highland Ave as the unicorn shade. It's like a bright neon moment. I love to do that with my looks. So yeah, I had so much fun. I really want to play with like Under the Rock and Redlands and there's still like some neutrals that I actually want to play with, which is quite surprising. But yeah, I can't wait to dive into Kim Chi's side. Naomi's side is incredible i cannot wait to just play with this palette a little bit more the formula like i said so buttery so smooth so easy to work with so easy to blend i can't really talk highly enough about them like they're such a good brand kimchi is killing the game thank god but yeah guys that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it i'd literally love if you give it a massive thumbs up down below it really helps me out if you have any questions, please leave them down below as well. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me do with Kim Chi's side or both of them together, let me know as well. But yeah, that is it for my first video in my new place. I'm so excited and I just can't wait to film. Like, I'm just like so, I'm like, I'm ready. Like, I'm ready to film again. I'm ready to do makeup looks and I really want to get more creative with my looks as well because I don't want to just do eyeshadow, I want to do stuff on the face as well, like incorporate different ideas, but yeah. And I would literally love if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, it literally means so much to me, like you have no idea. Um, but yeah, I can't thank you guys enough for the support. And I'll see you in the next video with the kimchi side, where we're going to play with this palette the whole week. I can't wait. Let's do it. I'll see you then. Bye.